Right, well, this is... Um, it's an old deck of cards. Although yeah. it's not really. It's a replica. You can go on to... There's a website. Um, what's it called? True Crime Collective? Okay. True Crime Collective. And you go on and it's basically... Um, all the old serial killers and stuff. It's like true crime memorabilia. Yeah. But a lot of it is reconstructed because obviously the originals don't exist anymore. My By the way, you know, I used to know a serial killer. Really, I did. You know when he moans about my stories being too long? No, I'm just saying. saying why? I'm, I'm interacting with you. I used to know a serial killer. He you used did? to take the Cocoa Pops and the Frost Tears and just throw them across the room. It was disgusting. That's horrendous. It's a dad joke. I'm a dad. It's my job to do dad jokes. Sorry, serial killer. <laughs> May I continue? Yes. True, okay. true crime memorabilia. True crime collective. That one's the website. So you go on there and they do lots of true crime memorabilia and stuff. So my mate's obsessed with all that kind of stuff. And he bought this deck of cards, right? So he's given me this deck of cards um, and it comes with a, uh, a picture. That's kind of a weird present, though, isn't it? Here you are, Matt. True friend. Have a deck of cards. That's based on a serial killer. Well, there's a reason he gave it to me, and we'll get to that in a I, I once got a present, right, and I got given a goat. Not a real goat, a fake goat. I, I, somebody sponsored a goat on my behalf and then gave me six rolls of toilet paper for Christmas. For Christmas, there was like an envelope, and then there was a big package. I was like, I'll open the envelope first. And it was like, we have sponsored a goat for you, um, which was amazing. Great. Don't care. Um, but then... The other one was, these are six rolls of toilet paper, and it was made out of, like, recycled, rehashed, reused toilet paper. And nice. they'd, they'd made it into new toilet paper. Great. And that was a, was, was a better present than give, being given a deck of cards from Ricky the Ricky does a whole skit about being given a goat for Christmas. It's very really? funny. You should go and look it up. I'll check it um, out. But there's a reason why he, give, why he gave them to me. Okay. okay, so this is a picture that comes with the deck of cards. This Can is the Atkins family. Okay, good looking family. That's Frank, Mary, and uh, their kid. What was the kid's name? What was it? Nancy? Kid's name was Nancy. Okay. Uh, but that's Frank. Got the names at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Just London. Mary on it, I think. Yeah. But they're from Hackney in London, basically. Okay. That's where they lived. So um, they gave me... Uh, he, this comes with the deck of cards. So that's Frank, Mary, and, and little baby Nancy. Okay. Now, apparently, according to this tale, they didn't have a very good time. Their house burned down. Frank had an even less good time of it because when the house burned down, Frank was in it <laughs> and he died. Oh, oh my God. I know, I know. Um, poor Frank. Poor Frank. Now, Frank was well known within the community, according to the story that comes with this. He was well known within the community, but he was known as being a bit of a, a, bit of a player. So he was a bit of a womanizer. He liked to gamble. He liked to drink. Oh, right. Okay. He deserved it then. I'm not saying he deserved it. He was beloved by the people that he hung out with, but his wife wasn't best fond of it, apparently. Um, but he was no, he had a bit of so a wife, reputation. So he's a bit of an asshole. He had a bit of a reputation. Okay. Men liked him. Women, possibly not so much. Um, or maybe a bit too much. Or maybe a bit too much. But these cards, if you notice, they've all got different names. Oh, there's Nancy. There she is. So these have all got different names on the back of them, right? Yeah. So the reason for that is because as well as... Oh, no, the reason that I got given these cards by mm -hmm. my mate is because when he had them, apparently, according to True Crime Collective, when you buy the deck of cards... Now, these are replica cards. So they, these were based on Frank's actual cards that he had, and he carried this deck of cards around with him all the time. Now, you would expect that to be destroyed in the fire, but it wasn't. The deck of cards lives, and they really? still have it. The True Crime Collective. You think if he died and got set on fire, if he had something that's cardboard in his pocket, that would have been up That would have gone as well. But this is weird. So the cards one. didn't. The cards survived, right? Now, okay. apparently, every single one of these replica decks of cards are put into a sealed unit, a sealed box, with the original deck of cards for 24 hours before they're sold. Okay. Right? So this has been... Inside a um, seat. Come on. Nemed's here. Don't worry, keep the camera on us, but we've got Nemed. Say hi, Nemed. Hi, Nemed. Eventually, I'm going to get through one of these fucking tricks. It's okay, you're doing great. I'm enjoying this. Keep going. So this actual deck has been stored for 24 hours in a sealed unit inside uh, with the original deck of cards. Now, apparently, that makes weird shit happen. 
some of Frank's energy or whatever is transferred over onto these cards. Apparently. So that's been stored in a sealed container yeah. with the original deck of cards. With the original deck of cards. According to True Crime Collective. According to True Crime Collective. I think True Crime Collective is scamming them. Possibly. I reckon, I reckon they haven't got a sealed... If anything, they're on a table nearby and they're like, yeah, yeah, it's gone right next to it. Sealed container. Yeah, How can anyone prove that? Uh, they can't really. Um, but my uh, mate is convinced that there's something really weird about this deck of cards. Okay. And it kind of messes with people, which is why he gave them to me. Because okay. he doesn't want them in his house anymore. So weird shit. Are you serious? Them. Yeah, he didn't want them in his house anymore. So he gave them to me. So you're happy to have them? Yeah, fuck it, I don't care. No, fair enough. So I thought we'd just try something with it and see what happens. So Well, there's a good idea. Let's get a Ouija board while we're at it. Sure. Have you got one? No. We can make one. Have you got one? No, we can make one, though. How do you make Easily. one? Easily. I'll tell you. Okay. So, Frank, have you ever heard the phrase, uh, your card's marked? Yeah. It's kind of like there's a bullet with your name It's kind of like you're going to die. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah, a yeah. bullet with your name on it. Basically, you're fucked. Yeah, you're fucked. So, Frank was really, really superstitious. So, all of the people that he actually cared about in his life, he wrote their name on a card. And then he kept that deck of cards with him, because if he's got the card that's marked, nothing's going to happen to the people that he loves. One, that's, that's weird. Two, what happens if he has more than 54 really close friends? Or what happens if you've only got 10 close friends and he's just got a load of cards that don't have names on them? Well, all of these do have names on them, so he must have at least 52 people in his life that he cared about. I wonder if he meets like somebody and they like become his best friend and he's got this deck of cards with names on them all the way through. Does he have to go, right, you're getting bumped. You're yeah, you're fucked. Out. You're fucked. There you go. Don't care about you anymore. Yeah, yeah. I'm, putting, I'm putting Sally in here. I bought you a pint the other day and you didn't buy me one back. Gone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you mess with me, you're out my deck of cards. Exactly. Ooh. And then you're fucked. Yeah. Which I want it really, as he was the one that died. <laughs> but, so yeah, there's all of these names, all these people that he cared about. Yeah. And everybody had a card. Now, okay. when Frank died, these were recovered. Mm -hmm. And then since then, weird shit started happening with the cards. And that's when your mate got spooked and gave them that's to you. That's when my mate got spooked and gave them to me. So what I thought we'd do, he was like, certain cards have certain feelings. And I'm like, the fuck are you talking about, dude? And he's like, seriously, go through the deck and certain cards feel a certain way. You can feel it. You can feel the energy on the cards. I haven't done it yet, but I just thought you could try. Why did you get me involved with this shit? So I thought if, you know, it's going to be evil demon creatures latching onto anything, I'd rather latch onto you than me. I can, so I can, I can. we'll give it a go, see what happens. So all we're going to do is we're going to go through the deck and then you're going to feel a card. The second that you feel a card, you feel a card is right, you feel an energy from that card, you're going to tell me to stop. This one, Earl or Dorothy? I feel the evil. On Earl? Evil Earl. Evil Earl. I feel the evil. All right. Um, we'll up. try it again. So okay. we'll go this way this time. So again, we're going to go through the cards. When you get a feeling, I just want you to tell me. That Ace of Diamonds. That one? That's my lucky card, but that feels evil. Sure? Evil Ace of Diamonds. You want to change your mind? No. Ace of Diamonds? Yeah. All right. Yep. Let's see what happens. So you think these two cards have got that feeling on them? They, get the, the, they have the evil. They do. Should we look at what's on the other side of that? Go ahead. Three of hearts. Three of hearts. Mm. Mean anything to you? Not really. Actually, if you look on this picture, Frank has got a card on him. Check that out, Jack. And it's the three of hearts. Oh, sure it is. Look at that. Bit weird, isn't it? That's very weird, weird that you picked Frank's favourite card. So, does that mean that Earl was Frank's best friend? Possibly. Because you'd put think it'd be Mary, wouldn't you? Yeah, but look. But it's Earl. So Earl had Frank's favourite card. Maybe but there was also, some, maybe there was something going on between Earl and Frank. Maybe. And she was a bit of a beard, and he maybe wasn't a womanizer. He was a manizer. Well, if you look on the back of the picture as well, it actually says. 
Following years of his... Following years of his womanising, gambling and neglect of his family. What an arsehole. <laughs> I have... Frank finally had enough. I started the fire that killed Frank. May God forgive me. Mary Atkins. <gasps> It was his wife. It was his wife. All she along. did it. She did it. She killed him. Oh, and she admitted it afterwards. I know she was I know she was a womanizer, but honestly, that's worse. It is. That's worse. She killed Frank. And weirdly, you, you picked that card, right? Yeah, I picked that card. That's his wife's name. That's his wife's name. Dude. That's very evil. Very evil. Sneaky 